So somebody was asking about Karateka being on the Commodore 64, and guess what? It totally is, so let's see what it's about. It's about seizures, hell yeah! We better drink up to that. Are you ready to enter the midst of hell in order to be a Karateka? Oh, 1997. Okay, I better check out the controls. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the loading screen? <laughs> Just the Brother Bond logo? I'm sorry, but we're not going to put in any cheating. That's against the rule. Also, even though that I've played Prince of Persia, which was like probably one of the better known games from the author of this game, which is Jordan McNair, well, I've never played this game, which is, I think, the first game that he did. And now here it is for the Commodore 64. Oh, music by Francis McNair. <laughs> Yep, copyright 1984, 1985. Okay, pretty ominous music for the Commodore 64. Oh, and now it's totally off the charts. Man, that is some badass music, I gotta say. Here we go with the prog rock on the Commodore 64! You are one train in the way of karate, a karateka, alone and unarm. <laughs> Put fear and self-concern behind you, focus your will on your objective, accepting death as a possibility! Wait, is that us on the on the left? Because holy shit, it just looks like we woke up from bed and we have our sleeping cap on. Man, visuals are pretty gloomy for a Commodore game. Oh, this cell makes me want to die. Alright, and with that said and done, we're ready to go on. Yeah, a proper pirate always gotta talk about the way that they use in order to break through the surveillance. Ah, here we go! I don't know what I've did this time, but now I can walk, so let's start with the only interesting way, the most interesting way to start this. <laughs> There's only one thing that I know about Karateka, and that is it. The fact that you can kill yourself right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, also we gotta go through the loading again. Alright, let's restart, and hopefully we'll do something this time. Okay, so how do I... Okay. 
Uh oh. Alright, we've already got one opponent. Uh, yeah, that's just a sleepwalking surgeon karate co Okay, I gotta say, however, this is not a game that runs really well. What you're witnessing here is not me dropping frames, but that's me playing the game at the speed at which this was all intended. This game was clearly not built in order to run on the Commodore 64. I'm even surprised that they went through the trouble. So yeah, this is a game that I might play at some point, but that's not going to be the one that I'm going to play though. And yeah, Commodore 64 do indeed has games that, that run well, but this is not one of them. Sir, I just woke up from bed. I'm just here to tell you about something. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna go really, really slow. I saw earlier that there were controls in order to go faster and everything, but I unfortunately kind of lost track of them. <laughs> I am still going to forward to you. Still running. There you go. I'm here in order to wait to wait for you with my boat hat. Yeah, it just feels like a really awkward sailor hat. Also, I'm getting hits in even though I'm not even sure what I'm doing in order to even hurt them. Yeah, right now I'm just winning through the powers of button mashing because I really have no clue what I'm doing. Alright, I'm wearing a dead dog on my face and I'm here in order to meet you! Yeah, now we're starting to be at the point where everyone just has way more health than we do, but let's see if we can just win by or good old patented manners of just mashing buttons until something happens. That's how I play every fighting game, by the way. Ah! Yeah, so far it seems as if my kick is my mm, is my most respect not respected but my best attack but ah come on All right Yeah, I'm freaking unstoppable. The doctor is here, and he's prescribed to you a punch in the face. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that at this point I'm just... Oh my god, that was a kick in the balls. His goddamn balls. Alright, I still have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'm prevailing. And I still haven't figured out how to break through my uh, my fighting stance, so I can't even try going fast. So 
Maybe the fact that I'm not running is what making it so that I have to fight a million of these jerks. And that's probably going to be the end of me because I don't think as if I'm regaining my health between fights. I'm only regaining it if I spend long enough without getting hit. And since I haven't read on how to block, well, I figure that... Oh god, my poor nuts are gone. Alright, come on, I, I regain one health. Ah! Only one health! Oh! And unfortunately, death just happened regardless. Oh, apparently there was like nine hentai piracy checks on the game, so... Yeah, whoever pirated this game should be proud. Yeah, I should have bowed, but unfortunately I don't know how to do that because I didn't read. <laughs> so that's kind of my fault. So yeah, that's Karateka. I gotta say, an interesting choice of a game to port on the Commodore 64. It unfortunately doesn't run too well, but hey, you gotta upload at least the ambition of trying to make it work. And it still had some really good music and... Sounds things for the time, I gotta say.